Hello there, and welcome to this episode of My Poetry Readings, with me, your host, Declan Walsh. And in each episode, we revisit some of the poems that may have been part of our lives, and also perhaps discover some new poems along the way. In this week's episode, we are going to look at A Childhood Christmas by Patrick Kavanagh. Patrick Kavanagh is one of Ireland's most eminent poets, and was born in rural Inishkeen, County Monaghan, in 1904. His best-known works include the novels Tarry Flynn and the poems on Raglan Road and The Great Hunger, which we will, of course, feature at some future point in this podcast series. And he's best known for his accounts of Irish life through looking at the normal, everyday and commonplace. And in fact, when the Irish Times compiled a list of the favourite Irish poets in 2000, 10 of Kavanagh's poems were in the top 50, and he was rated in second place behind W.B. Yeats, of all people. In this poem, Kavanagh describes a magical and mysterious time from his childhood, a Christmas when he was six years old. It was when the ordinary became the extraordinary. Kavanagh himself was six in 1910, but the poem remembers a momentous event that happened almost 2,000 years earlier. The poem itself is in two parts, and Kavanagh actually wrote part two in 1940 and part one in 1943. Part one describes a place and explores, I suppose from an adult's perspective, how childhood is a time of innocence and innocence that we inevitably lose. And part two of the poem introduces a cast of characters, including his father, his mother and his neighbours. At Kavanagh's funeral in 1967, Seamus Heaney actually read A Christmas Childhood at the Gravesite. A Childhood Christmas by Patrick Kavanagh One side of the potato pits was white with frost. How wonderful that was! How wonderful! And when we put our ears to the paling post, the music that came out was magical. The light between the ricks of hay and straw was a hole in heaven's gable. An apple tree, with its December glinting fruit we saw, O oh, you, Eve, were the world that tempted me to eat the knowledge that grew in clay and death the germ within it. Now and then I can remember something of the gay gardens that was childhood's. Again, the tracks of cattle to a drinking place a green stone lying sideways in a ditch, or any common sight, the transfigured face of a beauty that the world did not touch. My father played the melodeon outside at our gate. There were stars in the morning east, and they danced to his music. Across the wild bogs his melodeon called to Lennons and Callans. As I pulled on my trousers in a hurry, I knew some strange thing had happened. Outside in the cowhouse, my mother made the music of milking. The light of her stable lamp was a star, and the frost of Bethlehem made a twinkle. A water hen screeched in the bog. Mass going feet crunched the wafer ice on the potholes. Somebody wistfully twisted the bellows wheel. My child poet picked out the letters on the grey stone. In silver, the wonder of a Christmas townland, the winking glitter of a frosty dawn. Cassiopeia was over Cassidy's hanging hill. I looked, and three wind bushes rode across the horizon, the three wise kings. And an old man passing said, Can't he make a talk? The melodeon. I hid in the doorway and tightened the belt on my box-pleated coat. I nicked six nicks in the doorpost with my penknife's big blade. There was a little one for cutting tobacco. I was six Christmases of age. My father played the melodeon. My mother milked the cows. And I had a prayer like a white rose, pinned on the Virgin Mary's blouse. 
I hope you enjoy that reading of A Childhood Christmas by Patrick Cavanagh. And it certainly should invoke some memories of your Christmas. There's been quite a, a fantastic number of versions of this song put to music. And two of my favourites I'm going to share with you today. The first one is by John Spillane. Frost, how wonderful that was, how wonderful. And when we put our ears to the paling post, the music that came on was magical. And there's John doing what John does best, a fantastic version of the song. And for something a little bit different, the female group Cherish the Ladies do their unique version of it also. was white with frost. How wonderful that was. How wonderful. And when we put our ears to the paling post, the music that came out was magical. The light between the ricks of hay and straw. Was well, we've come to the end of the first episode of My Poetry Readings, and I hope you enjoyed the reading of A Childhood Christmas by Patrick Cavanagh. If so, please subscribe to My Poetry Readings on iTunes and Spotify and indeed wherever you get your podcasts. And if you think anybody else would like to share this journey with us, please share it with them also. You can also follow the podcast on our Facebook page at My Poetry Readings and all the links to social media platforms are included in the show notes below. Now, I'm off to sharpen the quill for the next episode. Till next time. Bye-bye.